Vice President Sri M. Venkaya Naidu extended his warm greetings and good wishes to the people of our country on the auspicious occasion of Makkah Sankranti and Pongal. The Minister of Commerce and Industry, Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution and Textiles, Sri Piyush Goel launched the free trade agreement negotiations with the United Kingdom along with Right Honourable Annie Mary Trevelyan, UK Secretary of State for International Trade in New Delhi today. Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited, Bhopal, a CPSE under the aegis of Ministry of Heavy Industries, is celebrating Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav from 10th to 16th January 2022. As a part of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav celebrations, inauguration of exhibition on unsung heroes of freedom struggle at BHEL Bhopal and presentation on Idea Generation Challenge on Sanrachna portal was organized through online mode. Sri Arun Goyal inaugurated the exhibition on unsung heroes of freedom struggle from Madhya Pradesh virtually. India's COVID-19 vaccination coverage has exceeded 154.61 crore and over 76 lakh vaccine doses have been administered in the last 24 hours. Also, 84,825 patients have recovered in the last 24 hours and the cumulative tally of the recovered patients is now at 3 crore 47 lakh 15,361. Consequently, India's recovery rate stands at 95.59%. Minister for Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Sri Bhupendra Yadav, today released the India State of Forest Report 2021, prepared by the Forest Survey of India, which has been mandated to assess the forest and tree resources of the country. Sharing the findings, the minister informed that the total forest and tree cover of the country is 80.9 million hectare, which is 24.62% of the geographical area of the country. As compared to the assessment of 2019, there is an increase of 2,261 square kilometer in the total forest and tree cover of the country.